I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question from circular functions radian measurements. A wheel with radius of 20 cm rolls a distance of 2 meters down a hallway. Determine the angle of rotation. So what is happening here is let's say that is the wheel right and this wheel rotates along this path. Right so we are given that the radius is 10 centimeters 20 centimeters the wheel with the radius of 20 centimeters so the radius is 20 centimeters rolls a distance of 2 meters right so it's good idea to write same units 2 meters is equal to 200 centimeters right so it rolls that much distance so this distance is actually the circular circumference of the V and it depends how much angle it has rotated through. So when we are measuring angle in radians then we can say A the arc arc is equals to R times theta. Right? Now A the distance moved is 200 centimeters. So we can write this as 200. Radius is known to us as 20 and from here we can find the angle theta where theta is in radians correct so so 200 divided by 20 is 10 so we get theta equals to 10 now as you know this unit is in radians right so we have theta equals to 10 radians radians is a ratio correct now ratio of arc length over radius correct so which is basically uh, without any unit so we write radians for it so we have theta equals to 10 radius as the angle. So that answers our question. It says determine the angle of rotation. The angle of rotation is 10 radius. Now what we are going to do here in addition is convert radians to degrees also, right? So let's convert this into degrees and find our angle in degrees also, correct? So in an, um, let's say the angle in degrees will be equals to let us call this angle as alpha right so alpha is angle in degrees for us so 10 radians how do you convert that we want degrees on the top so 180 degrees divided by pi radians right so that is how you convert so that cancels out correct and therefore you get your answer which will be equals to 10 times 180 degrees so 1800 degrees so that is the answer for us at times when we asked how many rotations right so we are just extending extending and the question is how many rotations that also you can find since the one rotation is 360 degrees let's say a number of rotations is n in that case uh, n will be let's say number of rotations is equals to degrees which is 1800 over 360 degrees correct so that could also give us the answer right so 18 goes two times so it is 18 goes two times in 36 so it is 10 it's 18 if you divide by so 10 over 2 or 5 rotations correct so 5 rotations will be giving you 2 meters of distance. You could also get this by using the angle in radians, correct? Radians will be 2 pi, correct? Now, that is how you can actually solve the question. So I added a couple of things to it. One, I added angle in rotation. So we added both in radians and degrees. That is one part we added to this. And second is number of rotations. Right. So that is how this question is there in the test paper at times. So I hope that helps you to give a complete overall picture of the situation. Thank you and all the best.